Welcome back. Last time we put Sputnik into orbit. And uh, we're still mourning about this uh, Jebediah. Just killed straight from the bed. Straight in the start out phase of this epic achievement. I mean, he was destined for the stars, but he saw space actually. Uh, we have a 22 science, which is not enough to uh, advance. And I have to think real hard now because um, we could do with additional parts, but we first objective what we could do now is to is to uh, explore Kerbin. Maybe maybe that's just a good way to start. We could well, let me see. We can get some science data from other space from around Kerbin. And we can uh, just uh, get somebody in orbit and get him back. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So I guess Valentina Kerbin is uh, made for this. If we do the astronaut complex uh, as well, then we can do an EVA as well. I guess I'm gonna do that, but that leaves us with not so much funds. So we're, we're gonna have to make a rocket that's reliable. Because our, if you, uh, I mean our Sputnik failed for two flights. One or two? I don't. I'm not sure. I guess. Uh, we're gonna go with the command pod because that will give us more control with the direction wheels. Uh, we definitely will need a re-entry uh, heat shield. And we'll definitely need a parachute. Uh, this is a uh, basic design. And then we're gonna get ourselves the same uh, space uh, engine as the Sputnik has, the LV-909 Terrier. Which alone will give us in vacuum will give us uh, 2300, 23,000, no, 2300 uh, delta V. That's, that's already a lot. So we don't need much down here, I guess. I think we're gonna do the same design as with the Sputnik. It's gonna cost us a little bit more to put these engines down here, but. In the end, they're gonna give us more stability. Uh, we don't want a mission fail now. But the advantage is now we have SAS because we have a uh, Kerbal is flying now. So I guess we can also do with this engine how much trust to weight ratio will this 1.4 that's okay how much we can do 140 tons and we can do okay we can do EVA so we're gonna put the science junior down here And Valentina is gonna grab the science out of here and put it inside her the cabin. Uh, yep. Can we actually put this one on top? No, it's okay. So this rocket is. I guess we cannot really steer it. So I'm. 
I'm, I still want to do this. Maybe we can do two. And just put them inside. Um, let's see how much trust to weight ratio will this give us. 1.7, that's fine. So we can extend this one. I'm looking for about 1.5. That's just a, a guess of mine. I don't I don't know if that's correct. So we can do a science junior from outer space. Uh, we need more delta V here, I guess. Oh, of course this engine is going to do better in vacuum, but I'm going to stick some uh, additional boosters on here. This is not right. I have to press the C button in order to get it centered. C key. Now I'm gonna put it like there. Uh, now we have definitely enough delta V. I mean, we have even too much, I guess. I think we don't even need it. How much funds do we have? Seventeen. We can do. We can do two launches like this. Almost. Not anymore. Okay. So this one has to be right, otherwise we have to take on another contract, which we cannot take. Um, let me think. This is gonna do 2000 delta V on sea level, and this is gonna do, I think we should be fine. Yeah, this should work. Not really. Look at how the the aerodynamically the uh, aerodynamic pressure center of pressure is on top of the uh, center of mass. So this is not going to be aerodynamically stable. Um, so we need additional fins, I guess. which will make it even more expensive but there's no other way I think we can make four of these could do it like this just to be safe okay yep but maybe we can do it with an antenna but we're not gonna hang out in space really long but we can transmit some data so we at least have this this data from the antenna if we fail we at least have the data from the transmit the back so this is going to be called Gemini, 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 G, G uh, X1. Um, we have a parachute, uh, we have, we should, I guess we should take some additional batteries just to be sure. I'm gonna take uh, additional batteries down here. Yep. So we have one chance only for this to work. Valentina, are you up for the job? This is gonna be exciting. Did we get the contracts? 
return to carbon from orbit and get scientific data okay uh, let me check the staging this seems to be correct that's it uh, leave the monopropellant Okay, let's go. I think also I want to make smooth rockets, not not crooked like rockets with all kinds of different colors and not aerodynamically sound. I mean, you could do that in this game, but I think this rocket is is looking really nice. Now we're going to try and go pitch a little bit this way down now. See how much control we have. I don't want to go up too high. the second engine to be in a vacuum because it's going to be efficient though. only in the vacuum so we managed to get 62 kilometers up and our apoapsis so we're going to wait a little bit and go to apoapsis and then fire this rocket with additional 2182 delta V. So hopefully, it should be okay. Yep, we should manage orbit. Just. Well, we have to make sure we don't fall back. We need around 2300 delta V meters per second. Orbital velocity. You hear Valentina in the background chatting with Space Center. Look at the engine heating up. We're still climbing, that's okay. 1000 meters per second left. barely managed to get orbit.
So we're gonna make additional burn at the highest point of our orbit to get more efficiency. Let me take care of the cat in just a moment. First, first we'll have to get into orbit and then we can take care of the cat. So how much electricity do we have? We have uh, four, four, eight. Oh, we still have plenty of electricity. Let's put the antenna out. So, yep, that's about here. <laughs> and we are officially in orbit. So we can take a science here, 17 and a half. The microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. Now let me take care of the cat and I'll be right back. Valentina has made it to orbit and uh, we're gonna transition over to the dark side and then when, when we're in the in the other side again then we have some light to go EVA for the first time we can do a crew report out down here I guess and we can send it back to Kerbin There's plenty of food. I, I guess we're going to be up here for two days. And I'll be right back and take care of the cat. So I'm back again. Uh, there was some lightning strikes going overhead our house and the kids woke up. And okay. Mm. Let me see, so Valentina was in orbit and we managed to get some science from the Science Junior module and now we want to get this uh, data inside the spacecraft so we need to do an EVA and we can do a crew report right from the bed uh, and a crew report is every time is different if you fly over a certain biome so now we're above the water so we can do a, a crew report from above the water so if we wait a little bit store this one let's just let loose I think we can turn on the lights. It used to be L, but now it's U from uniform. And we're gonna wait until we get over some land area, and then we can do an additional crew report. Now we can also put our uh, reaction control system on and it will burn like orbit no normal how do you call it it will orient your space suit orbit normal no normal like this so we can take the data from here collect data and now that will render the uh, module 
unusable now for now. Only a scientist could reset this one. And as we're above the land, we can do an additional crew report. Almost above the mountains, which is really cool because there's not too much around. And we can do a store experiments. And we're gonna wait a little bit until we're overhead the uh, KSP. Oh, that's cool. We we'll see the if you can look just above the helmet of uh, Valentina, you can see the KSP area, the space center, with the four islands down there. I guess next orbit we're gonna be down there again. EVA. That's one from the water, unfortunately. So I'm gonna speed the time a little bit and and just wait until we're over the land again. Now try EVA report again. And this is above the shoreline, so that's cool. Now we have to O. Now break the antenna. Oh. Store experiment. <laughs> and is there one above the water again? The moon looks inviting over there. TV report, water. TV report, uh, grasslands. Our experiments. Let's take one more additional EVA report. Let's from the water again. Just wait a little bit. We cannot speed up time when a Kerbal is on the ladder. We're actually moving the spacecraft a little bit. Well, just we're just being on the ladder and moving up and down. Or uh, I think it was from the uh, when we tried to attach ourselves onto the ladder, and then then the spacecraft started turning. Yep, EVA report. Also grasslands. Maybe another time we have also biomes called uh, desert, North Pole. Well, actually, we can do a science mission with this uh, science junior to the North Pole. Highlands, that's what I was looking for. So we have mountains, highlands, and grassland. So I guess it's time to get inside and see how much electricity we have. Uh, there's plenty of that, so we could send some stuff down to. Let me see. Let's see how much we can. This is 8 MITS. 
don't know how much electricity that will cost us let's see because there's no way we can generate electricity so we can, there's it's okay we can send a little bit more send that one because if we transmit it we'll get eight now uh, if we recover it we'll get seven and a half so we can send this one and we can send this one which leaves us with uh, 100 electricity 120 electricity units And now let's see where where we have the space center. So I wanna deorbit right around here somewhere. Well, I don't know how much we have left in the tanks, but we should be able to get fairly close to the space center. I'm gonna lower the wheel authority of the reaction wheels because we don't need that much. We got the science data from the Space Junior stuff. I think this will be it. I'm just eyeballing it, there's nothing special to it. There's some mods that will enable you. Oh, this is a different launch site. <laughs> this is this is the desert airfield. That's okay. We can land over the desert airfield because, I mean, they with the first space shuttle flights, they also landed in the. I don't know what the desert's name is, but. Um, the Salt Lakey area. Mm. The desert is also a new biome which we haven't seen before, so we can try and manage and get it over the on side of the of the desert there. So we're gonna retract the antenna. And the couple. We have uh, 85 electricity left. That's, that's enough. This is gonna be the first re entry. He's the first person in Kerbin to, to get home safely because uh, Jebediah didn't manage to get home safely. He did manage to get to see space, but unfortunately, he didn't survive. Uh, we're far away from the base, I guess. From the desert launch site, but let's see how the heat shield is holding up. There's plenty of uh, ablator material left. There used to be a key. Which would enable you to see all the temperatures inside the spacecraft. I don't know if you know about this key. Please comment uh, 
in the comment section because I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. Oh, it actually says here 35 minutes of electricity remaining. Now we can dispense of the heat shield once we are safe to get the parachute going. Is it it's loose, but it's sticking on the underside of the. Can we do a crew report here? Yeah. So we're flying in the desert. Just speeding up time and um, Valentina can get home. Take the first plane home to KSP Center. We can do an EVA. And recover the vessel. I don't think there will be less funds to be recovered because uh, the desert is far away from the KSP launch site. So this will only give us a return of uh, 905 from the recovered parts but we have 93 science because we gained 28 so this is really cool and the crew leveled up uh -huh. uh, and that increased our funds uh, 83,000 now and the next step in the Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society is getting to the moon. Well, we don't have any navigation stuff going, so uh, we don't we cannot do flight planning. Uh, we need a lot of more funds for that. Um, but we can get to the moon without any flight planning or uh, without any patched conics, as they as they uh, mentioned it in Kerbal Space Program. So I'm, I'm thinking about what's what's the next step going to be. I think I'll just keep it here and uh, I'll see you on the next time.